<laughs> oh, Joe Rogan. Why? 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 You gotta post the bad stuff. Joe Rogan posted a thing on Instagram and it was very fascistic. So let's have a look at that and talk about why it's so bad shall we? So, Joe Rogan posted this on Instagram. Hard time, this is a classic, <clears throat> by the way, a classic line, for those of you who are not familiar, hard times lead to strong men, strong men lead to good times, weak, uh, good times lead to weak men, and weak men lead to hard times, and so the cycle continues. It's a, it's an old, old, like, bad adage. But for some weird reason, he chose an image where it's overlaid on top of the political compass, which is really weird, because it leads to some very dangerous implication. It's an old bad adage, good one, Eric. And then Joe added the text, We are in Kali Yuga, the age of conflict. All of the chaos we're seeing right now was predicted in Hinduism thousands of years ago. Civilizations move in predictable cycles, and we are in the lower left-hand square of the chart. Of course, this chart has nothing to do with Hinduism. Um, I am not familiar with Hinduism at all. I don't know the extents of Kali Yuga, etc. I have no clue on those things. But this chart has nothing to do with Hinduism. Like, nothing. Because the problem with this is that, okay, strong men lead to good times. But Joe, do you know what quadrant this is? This is the authoritarian right quadrant. You know who drops into there? Nazis. So Joe is like, yo, Nazis lead to good times. What? No. <laughs> no, no, they, they don't. Fascists lead to good times. And where are good, where's good times? Libertarians, like right-wing libertarianism, which leads to weak men, which is Libertarian left, like, anarchism, kind of, sort of? And then, which leads to hard times, which is authoritarian left, and then that leads to fascists, the Nazis? It doesn't make any sense. And it, it like, like, I, I don't know if he meant it like that, but it, it makes it sound like, oh, okay, so fascism is pog because it leads to good times. No, no. Also, this idea of, like, strong men shape the world is really dumb. And it's a very narrow way to analyze history because there are many different ways to analyze history. You can analyze history from a sociological standpoint, a economic standpoint. You know, there's there's very many different lenses that you can apply to your study of history, which you also should do to understand history from a more nuanced perspective. It's not just like like the great man theory, which is heavily criticized in history, where which is very often taught to us at schools as well that, you know, great, usually men do things which lead to change, where there are a lot of other factors, you know, the people that work under these great men, for example, but also other socio-political situations, economic situations that play into these things very heavily. It's a very narrow and oversimplified view of history. I mean, fuck sociological and historical analysis makes sense, though. Mm -hmm. Nazis are strong men and ANCAP is good time. Yes, Nazi equals strong men, ANCAP equal good time. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's... Yeah, sure. Sure, buddy. This is insulting. I am an anarchist and I was in the gym today. Let's go. I was in the gym yesterday. Let's go, baby. Drogan be appropriating Hindu stuff without knowing anything. Yeah. Like it, it feels like he took the like the Kali Yuga thing and then he was like, he saw this image and was like, oh, that's just like Kali Yuga based. And then posted it without thinking at all. Like, Grog, Grog, me see image that's, that's fit good to my thing, Grog. Post online, Grog. And it's like, what? What are you doing? What are you doing, Joe Bi- Joe Rogan? Why did I say Joe Biden? Do you want to tell Joe Rogan right now? What's up, baby? Take me out the dinner. Hey, yo! And of course, we are at the weak men times, and of course, that's left libertarians who was- we all know hold the power. Yeah, exactly. Left libertarians run society and not like, you know, this part with the businesses and such. Like, you know. You're taking a, b a long bong rip at the same time, but this is like- like, Joe Rogan, like, describes himself as a meathead, and this is such a meathead host. Like, I agree, Fake, like, it wasn't fascist on purpose, but yeah, he just didn't think it through. That's what it feels like. Like, I don't know if he thought it through, but yeah, it, I don't think he meant to be like, Nazis good or fascists good. But that's how this is framed, like, the strongmen are good. The strongmen are also an authoritarian right, right. Therefore, fascists are good because they lead to good times, which is, which is anarcho-capitalism. Which, what? I don't think feudalism was very pock. <laughs> Because anarcho-capitalism and 
in the end just leads to feudalism because it's just like big corporation X is just going to steamroll over you and be like, well, now you're my slave because like, how are you going to defend yourself against Amazon or fucking Google when they own like half the land? And they're like, now your land is ours. And you're like, uh, but I don't want to give it. It's like, yeah, well, what are you going to do? What about the nap? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Which is the non-aggression pact, which <laughs> ANCAPs love this idea that people won't attack each other because there's a pact that they wouldn't, because that's how things work. Principle, sorry, I, I always get it mixed up. Yeah, there's a principle that you won't be aggressive towards each, uh, each other, and it's like, why would Amazon not just be like, that's now ours? Like, why? So those are good times, which lead to where we're now? Question mark? Which leads to the USSR? Like, it doesn't make any sense when you start, when you start, like, analyzing it. You're just like, you took this adage, and you just slapped it. I'm not saying Joe took it, but whoever did this image took the adage and just slapped it on the political compass. And they like they have nothing to do with each other. They just don't mesh at all. It doesn't like Joe, stop. Stop fascist posting, Joe. It's not good. This is not good. It's not a good sentiment to put out there. And Joe has like the biggest podcast in the world, I think. Or if not the biggest, one of the biggest podcasts in the world. So he has a humongous platform. So I feel like stuff like this is just very, it's just very damaging and it's not good. Eight-year-olds buying heroin with Bitcoin, yeah! Or ANCAPs buying eight-year-olds with Bitcoin. <laughs> He's not wrong. This has been observed and recorded over a period of 6,000 years in Chinese history. They call it the dynastic cycle. But I mean, just because this cycle has happened previously doesn't mean it will happen always. Like, sure, we, we might observe that in the past certain cycles have happened, but since the dynastic era in China, things have changed quite a lot. Like, even if that were true, things are very different now. To say that, oh, it happened in the past like this, therefore it will happen in the future like this, it's just like, no, that's not necessarily the truth. I don't think the dynastic cycle is Kali Yuga or Strongman stuff, no. I think this is just a different, he's saying like this, this hard, hard time strongman, good times weakman shit has been observed in this. New dynasty brings peace, rebuilds, oh, sorry, let's see. So there's the old dynasty, which taxes people too much, stops protecting people, lets infrastructure decay, treats people unfairly, loses the mandate of heaven, problems, yeah, okay, that sounds overly simplified, which, who would have thought? Where am I? What? What happened? La la la. It, it sounds overly simpli simplified. It just feels like this overly reductive view of history, like, oh, it was just like this, bro, and it's like, yeah, there's a lot of things. Swastikas are universally found symbols for a reason. Uh oh, I'm not, I don't want to show a swastika on screen, but yeah. Joe Rogan oversimplified something and misunderstood it? What a twist! What? We can't resort to one picture flowcharts to interpret the whole of human history? <gasps> Unbelievable. Who would have thought? Not me. Don't listen to this stuff from Joe Rogan. It's not correct. It's overly simplistic and it <laughs> unwittingly promotes fascism, which is not a good thing. So don't. Joe Rogan's being a meathead. Do not listen to him on this. Hey, if you enjoyed listening to me, you should hit the like button and the subscribe bu button down there because that helps me out. That'd be nice. It really does help me out. And uh, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on twitch.tv slash funwithfondue at 5 p.m. Central European time where you can see the chat on the left-hand side here for me. I don't know if it's right-hand side for you, but anyway, it's here. And also there's another video over there that you can go look. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.